Welcome to my book, which I really hope will be of value to you. Let me introduce briefly some of the principles that the book is based on. Much of the time, our choices are along the path of least resistance. What preserves our safety and comfort? The status quo. But if we want a better life than that, we can change what we choose. We can choose to stop compromising, to believe in ourselves and our values, to move forward with our lives guided by our own truth. I feel that the purpose of life is to overcome the domination of our animal instincts like ego, jealousy, greed and fear. Instead, to find and express our loving nature by caring, sharing and gratitude. And in so doing, to connect intimately with universal consciousness. This is the path of love. Love is the source of universal truth, and therefore it's the perfect guide in our lives. And we each have an unlimited supply, because it's within us, it's who we are. We are made by love, we are made of love, and we are made for love. This is all the dogma that we need. In other words, none. Because it's simply nature. It's not supernatural. The latter can be interesting, but you don't have to believe in things that you haven't seen for yourself in order to have a spiritual philosophy of life. We all have the light and dark within us. What matters is which we choose to act on. That's what makes us who we are. Your story may not have had a good beginning, but it's not who you are. That depends on what you do next, who you choose to be right now and moving forward. Indeed, we create our own destiny by our thoughts, words and deeds. I believe that the things I'm saying here are universally applicable, no matter if you are religious, agnostic or atheist. The path of love applies in our family and relationships, at our workplace and community, as well as within each of us. So I wish you a great path ahead, and I trust that my book will help you open the right doors.